Hi, I'm Jordan from Kettner Creative. In this video, I want to give you a beginner's guide or a beginner's tutorial as to how to program DMX lighting. What we have in front of me is an analog DMX controller and two LED lights. This should be enough to demonstrate the concepts that are required if this is your first time or as an introduction to LED lighting and DMX controlling. So first, we'll turn the lighting console on. Now by default, most small controllers will activate a blackout mode. If this blackout mode is on, that means it's not sending signal to any of your lighting fixtures. So please turn that off. For the Elation Stage Setter 8, I prefer to run it in 16 channel mode. That means that each fader is controlling a different DMX channel. Now when we, con when we connect the DMX controller to the LED light, it's sending 512 different channels down a single cable. This controller can only send 16 channels at a time. Now each channel that it sends, so say for channel one here, if we move it up, that's sending a value of between zero and 255. So that's 256 different channels just on the first, there's 256 different values just on the first channel and each channel also has 256 different values that it's sending. So there's a lot of data coming over a single cable. Now when we connect this cable, it has three pin XLR, so it's literally the exact same connector as a microphone cable, but because of all the data that's going down this cable, it's a different cable than an XLR microphone cable. You cannot use a microphone cable for DMX lights. You might get away with it once or twice, but more often than not, it'll cause more grief than it's worth. So just buy the proper cables or make your proper cables, but it has to be a DMX cable. It has a different level of resistance to send all that data down the cable. So like I said, this console is sending 512 different channels. Each channel is sending values between 0 and 255. So how do we get these lights to know what they're listening for. These lights and most LED lights have different DMX modes. So what I've done here to keep the demonstration simple is I've put both of these lights in a four channel mode. So if you hit menu, you can see it's in four channel mode. I hit enter and I want this light to listen to DMX one. So what does all that mean? It means that this light is listening to four channels at once. Now, if you look it up in the manual, it'll tell you what four, channel, what four channels it's listening for. Whatever the address that you set this light to, the first channel will be red, then green, then blue, then amber. Okay, so if we set this to DMX address one, I'll put this on the lighting console just so you can see. The first channel is red, so if we turn that up, you'll see red. Then green for number two, then blue for number three, then amber for number four. Now these lights, they have different modes, like this particular light, you could put it into 10 channel mode. So that's red, green, blue, amber. There'll be an overall dimmer, so you can set the overall fixture brightness. There'll be strobes and there'll be different effect modes and programs that it can run. But for now, we're just gonna worry about static colors because if we're at a corporate event, we're generally just pushing a color mix. Now, another note is that you can color mix because it's listening to all 512 channels at once. It knows it's only supposed to listen to four at a time, but it can listen to four at a time. So we can push up red and blue and we'll get, or sorry, red and green will give us this yellow. We can do red and blue, which will give us this purple. We do red and amber, gives us this orange. You can color mix however you want. Now, what if we want both lights to do the same thing? That's super easy. First, we connect the DMX cable. So we'll come out of the first fixture into the second fixture. And again, we'll make it the same. So we'll put it in four channel mode, DMX one. So 
both of these lights are set to DMX address one, which means they're both listening to the same set of data coming down the controller. So if we go red, green, blue, amber, they'll do the same thing. Now what if we want them to do different things? Well, we need the second lighting fixture to listen for another set of addresses. Now, the first light, we want to listen to one, two, three, four. Red, green, blue, amber. So we have to stay away from those channels. So what we'll do is we'll start listening at channel five for a new set, red, green, blue, amber. So we go up. So it's still in four channel mode. We're just setting the starting address to five. So the first lighting fixture, we want red. So we're going to push up number one. The second light, say we also want it to be red. Now we push up number five because that's what it's listening for. It's listening for five, six, seven, eight. It's in four channel mode and it's starting at five. And if we want a different color, we can do that as well. We can push amber, blue, green, and that's how you can do odd and even lights all around the room. Now you can keep going with this. If you had a third light that you want a different color, you would start it at nine because we're already using one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the next available channel would be nine. Let's say we put a third fixture there. Then the next one would be 13 because we were using 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and the fourth fixture would be 13, and just keeps going and going. Now, a couple things, not to confuse you, but just to touch on, how do those big concerts do it all? They use, so, like I said, the single cable carries 512 channels. That's known as a universe in the lighting world. So some lighting fixtures, some moving lights can use hundreds of channels, depending on what you're doing. So they just keep adding universes. So there's more complicated ways to do it, but essentially you just keep adding sets of 512 channels to your lighting console and the digital, the larger digital consoles can manage all that. But for us, for our LED lights, this is more than enough. You can control four different sets with a single console and a single universe. If you have any questions about the concepts that I've explained or if you think anything could be explained a little bit better, please leave a comment in the comment section below. We'll do a similar video with the similar concepts but how to do it all wirelessly uh, right after we film this one. Thanks for watching and uh, please like and subscribe if you found it helpful because that helps other people find the video better. Thanks.